we're here to continue to try and make the epic more epic. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Nick in the States, and in this episode, we're actually going to work on the epic Les Paul copy. It looks pretty horrendous. And we're going to now try and clean it up, strip it, pull all the strings off, and test fit a new neck on it, and perhaps mount the Chinese Bigsby copy. So, let's get started. How dusty is your guitar? It's about that dusty. Yeah. All right. So, first things first, always go easy on your strings as you pull them all off. And with strings like this, it's strongly recommended that your tetanus shots are up to date. <clears throat> I also want to point out that some of these strings were wound backwards, because of, of course they were. And some of these tuners aren't even really screwed in tight. Because of course they're not. <laughs> Alright, if you look here, this thing's dirty, pitted, but it's also one of those vintage style ones. This is actually not the best bridge because it goes one, two, three, four, then comes down to one, two. This is really how they were in the 50s. I say this all the time, but it's because the G string used to be wound. So therefore it would follow kind of the same pattern for intonation. Now that we have unwound G-strings, this on a good bridge is actually comes back to right here. So that will probably get replaced with another one. This is the part of sprockets where we become less sublime. I'm going to start a stopwatch to see how long this takes for me to blast my way all through this. And I'm going to put this right here so you can see and play along at home. If you had three minutes and 51 seconds, that's how long it took. I had to vary my style there, but the end key ended up being to use this slowly, get a whole section off, and pull it off. Cool. All right. Next, we're going to goo on this thing. First, I'm going to try a traditional, like, a Windexy thing, and then move to goo on after that. All right. I'm going to first use Windex, then I'm going to use goo on, then I'm probably going to go back to Windex. That's just the way that goes. But first, because this is the internet, and the internet makes, doesn't want to have people die. If this was a more expensive guitar and not something I picked up for 20 bucks with a cheap ass finish and everything else, it behooves you, it would be very important for you to make sure that your finish will not react to this. And if it was a more expensive guitar, especially if it's like a Gibson, don't do this. This is cleaning up a piece of junk. Now, we're going away. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this is the first time this guitar has ever been cleaned. Now that we've done so, we at least could take stock of how good or bad everything looks. Oh no, it's not too bad. A couple little dings here and there. A couple finished swirls. A little, something got it there, something kind of got it there, and something kind of got it there. But all in all, not so bad. Go on, spray, gel. So now, you look, look at that. It's like the band Sublime never existed, which would be sad, really, when you think about it, because, you know, they did have some great hits, some great stuff, and Legacy will live on even if all of their band members have not. All right, now let's see how the Bigsby looks. Wait! Here's the thing. You need to know this, because I've made this mistake before. It's like I'm talking. You need to know this. I've made this mistake before. Um, unlike American Bigsby's or the actual Korean copies, these 
Bigsby's do not have any um, felt feet on them. And the drill holes through haven't been fully smoothed out. So were I to put this on here, like say this and put it down, sadly it would scratch the MFing hell out of the top and we would have a challenge. So instead, I need to do something smart. We'll do two things, in fact. <clears throat> Thing one. I like to do something like this. Let's get kind of an idea. To make sure that the pigs be straight. Do something like that. <clears throat> Do something like I missed on that one, didn't I? Right to the edge there. Well, that can kind of sound straight here. We give that a good little eyeball. And the goal is to know that this is pretty straight, which it's not. So you get a good idea, reasonably speaking that everything's kind of straight and lined up and square. Then I take this little bad boy. And I throw some tape on the bottom of it. <coughs> I'd like to also apologize again to Danny because I was at his house when we learned that this scratches the hell out of a top. And now what this allows us to do is kind of get a good feel for what looks straight now I go here, I go in the center of the guitar, like that, all through the dots, and take a look here. Actually, I'll just lay it right on its edge. So now you split it, run right down the dots there, and look all the way down, and I say, you know what, folks? Right there looks pretty good. I use only a medium point dry erase marker, because marker, that's all it will do. And I go and get this screw right there, and this drill right there. Basically, when you want to do a drill bit, one of the key things is to know is that, like the shaft of the screw, which is inside, the threads are the kind of the circular part, you want to make sure your bit's about the size of the shaft of the screw, but the threads of the screw come out that, so that way it makes it easier for it to go in, but there's still some material left for it to cling to. Check the depth of your screw, just to make sure if you get a little, I don't know, over -e eager, it doesn't go all the way through. And finally, and this is something I kind of failed to do here, Especially on something with a tall stop tail, the stop tail post here up tall. I'm going to back this off more so the strings have more distance so then go over the, the stop tail and come up over the top. Now, here's where we look at it again. This is on the other side of that post. This is... Okay. I feel pretty good about that. So, I'm going to go like this. Now that I'm kind of sure it's going to go right there, Pull the skids off, pull the skids off. I will have to do the other two, drill the other two holes. But for now, this allows me to go like this, pop this, screw in, like this, pop this screw in, kind of hold things in place. Now you have a Bigsby. Now what I like to do is I'm going to tape both the spring and that cool little thing to the guitar because it's going to be a while until she's complete with strings. So we go like this. And then this likes to flop around. So we go like this. So while she's in storage and in Project Hell, that will keep it together. But there you go. That is a Bigsby. Let's see how perfect that is once she gets things all said and done. So now that's on there. Cool. Great first step. Now, 
Uh, yeah. We may still use that for something down the road. Don't get me wrong. Because that's just the way we go. But that be gone. <laughs> and now you can see where we're going with this. Let's pull with a Telic 25 and a half inch scale Telecaster neck. And what's very interesting is the measurement from the end of the neck pocket to the center of the saddles is seven inches. And it's the same as from the end of the neck pocket on a, less, on a uh, Telecaster to the center of the saddles. So this should be a very easy swap. Um, but now you get an idea where we're going with this thing. The last surprise is what we're gonna do for pickups, but we'll get to that in a sec. But, let's see if the neck will screw right in. So far, so good. This is where things stand today. We have a Bigsby on it. We have a Telecaster neck, which is actually <laughs> beautiful and flame maple. This is from another project I had. So we're gonna try and see how it works for this. I think we're gonna be in a pretty good spot once we get everything kind of settled on it. So next thing to do, we're gonna do a test string on it. We're gonna make sure that's good. And then actually what I'm gonna to have to do right now is order pickups and some string trees. And I already have nut files for the nut. Then we'll be ready to put those in. Now those are gonna be GFS uh, quick plugs. So it should make life super easy. We'll do a follow-up video for that. But anyway, this is Il Bastardo. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I've been making mistakes. Yes, folks, I have issues. Enjoy. You're still here. You need to go home. The video's, it's, it's over. You've moved on. You should, I mean, you could subscribe right here, or we'll watch these things, but there's nothing else to see here. Just move along.